Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are very well. Today I wanted to do a reading update for the Charming Autumn Readathon. I had lots of fun reading and trying to complete the prompts. In the category, the mellowness of autumn, I completed the prom Autumn Foliage, which is about reading a book that takes place in autumn. And the book that I've read is by Rowan and you. This is, I think, a very special book. The protagonists are the hidden folk creatures that have to protect the earth and nature. But at the same time, they behave like children. It's very immersive. You feel like you are walking with them through the woods by Ash, Oak and Thorn. It's the first one in the series. And I had this book on my TBR for the Enchanted Spring Readathon. I was not able to finish it, but now I want to, to read this one. And this one is, I think, like I said, very special and I definitely recommend it uh, to, to give it a try. Especially, especially the audiobook is really enchanting. It feels like you are in the woods because it also has uh, nature sounds which make it even more immersive and I really enjoy the narration. The next prom in the category the mellowness of autumn that I've completed is the fluffy cows of color. I fulfilled the prom reading three very special books. The first one is A Year Full of Flowers. It has lots of color for each month. It's a way to enjoy beautiful pictures of flowers and read about this special garden where the owner of the garden for her is very important to always have color in spite of, of the season and so she has found a way to have color most of the season even the dahlias they they can last till October in her garden and September it was a month for Dahlia so I, I the pictures are really beautiful and I think that this is a, a book that can be really uh, can be used for the prom colorful chrysanthemums. The next book that I've read is Secret Gardens of the Coswells. I've enjoyed reading this book very much because it is about 20 secret gardens most of them are, you cannot visit like the gardens of the National Trust because they are private owned. Most of them still have kitchen gardens, walled gardens and very beautiful rose gardens. So, and also you can, you get to, to hear about the owner of the garden and what was important for them and so it is a it feels like a special opportunity to get to learn more about these gardens that are not uh, that are not open to the public. And the third book that I've read is The Garden of the Buckingham Palace by Claire Massette. She is a writer that has um, written many books for the National Trust about gardens, special types of gardens. So this was a very special treat because it has beautiful pictures of the garden in autumn and there were many interesting historical facts so a very also a very special book to fulfill the prompt and i was very excited to finally have read chiri and chira this cu cutest of of picture books is uh, um was a recommendation by amy she has also a very lovely channel and um she recommended this book and it was on my TBR for the Enchanted Spring Readathon, but I couldn't get it. But now I, I have it and I love it. It's, it's really a color explosion um, and cuteness explosion. It feels very different because it is written by a Japanese author. It is whimsical and it is also, I think, very um, inspiring because it encourages you to enjoy a rainy day so this, this has is a color explosion and cuteness explosion and really different from other also lovely picture books the next category orchard delights is one of my favorite categories because it's about reading cozy comforting books and rereading which can be also very comforting and it is inspired in the wonderful desserts and pies and pastries that we can create with the fruits of the 
Autumn Orchard. The first one is the Apple Pie. Reread a comforting book. And for this, I reread Miss Petty 4. And like I was anticipating, it was a wonderful reread. I also listened to the audiobook, which is also very well done. It's, I think, delightful and for all ages. If you are in a mood, in the mood for something uh, quirky, but also de delightful and really, really easy to read, but also inspiring because the I think the I think the stories are really whimsical and. Um, very uplifting. It's just nice to look at the at the illustrations. There is an autumn story with a special pastry that Miss Petty Four bakes. They are autumn leaves. I would love to recreate this this dessert. So I'm looking forward to it. For my second apple pie, I've started reading Thorny Hold which is also a very lovely book. It has some witchy ingredients, but very, very subtle, which I also uh, like. And it, I love that it takes place in Thornyhall, a really wonderful house in the woods. And there is some kind of mystery. Uh, but I, what I especially love about this book is that it's about new beginnings. So I'm definitely planning to finish Thornyhall this week and enjoy also the, the audiobook. Then for my orchard tart, which is about enjoying a book with your favorite bookish ingredients, I've started reading much dithering. The bookish ingredients so far are in the book. It is definitely a vintage book. It was published in 1938. It is a delightful comedy of manners and it is set in a village and it feels really old fashioned in a good way with vivid personalities, so I am enjoying it very much. It is about a um, young woman. She lives in a, in some kind of different, uh, of difficult circumstances, but there's hope for her. I am really enjoying it, and I am very hopeful that this could be uh, a new orchard tart for me. Then a prompt that I was also very excited about reading books to fulfill it is Jewel Tones and Burnish Gold. Read a non-fiction book about autumn traditions, folklore, or history. I got this beautiful book telling the seasons, stories, celebrations, and folklore around the year. And I love that it talks about the harvest moon, moonwalking, Michaelmas, and more traditions that help me to immerse myself in the mood of autumn and the, the traditions that people practice. Also this little book, The Almanac. I love this book because it has uh, lots of information about traditions and folklore. And here it says, Autumn Equinox is associated with the harvest and some harvest traditions take their turning from it. The harvest moon is the full moon nearest to the equinox and harvest home or in gathering, the day of end of harvest celebrations. And for the prompt from Equinox to Solstice, I finished the first book in the Mrs. Polyfax series. I love the writing style. It is very immersive and very vivid. I love Mrs. Polyfax. She's she's such a nice uh, woman. Um, and I also love some of the characters, but uh, for me, it was a little bit too graphic. And those parts I didn't enjoy very much. I listened to the audiobook. I think the narrator makes it perfect and so I I am very glad that I tried this series. Also for the prom from Equinox to Solstice, I've started reading this book, Hedge Witch. It is a middle grade that was recommended uh, by a lovely subscriber. I'm also listening to the audiobook and I, I love the writing style and it says she will begin her training in the practical skills of witchcraft with the hedge witch who watches over the hedge, the vast forest that marks the border between England and Fairy. I love the setting and the description of the hedge and I am looking forward to learn more about the hedge witch. And what I love is witches are born, they are made. So uh, I think this can be a fun series. And so I'm hoping that I am going to enjoy this book so I can I can read the second one. Thanks so much for watching. And also I wanted to thank you for participating in the charming Autumn Readathon. I will be seeing you very soon with another bookish video. Bye!